The world is trying to get you to change your mind about Jesus. The world is trying their best to move us from the Bible because we are living in what is called a post-Christian age. The growers, fastest growing religion in America is not Christianity. Many have moved on from Christianity. And Christians have to be wise enough to, uh, pay, and to pay attention to the things that are going on. We saw something last uh, week, by the time this airs and uh, get out on social media, um, more time may have passed. But last week we saw something. Uh, we, we thought it was something. We thought, that the, especially the black community, our community thought it was something to see ministers with clergy collars march in favor of same-sex marriage. Uh, that the NAACP's number one clients now are the LGBTQ and all the rest of the alphabet community. Black folk didn't know how to take that. Um, and uh, we reached a new low last Sunday at Greenleaf Christian Church. The pastor invited a man who is married to a man, Pete Buttigieg, to the service, allowed him to have words, it appeared to be sitting in the pulpit, interviewed him, and served him communion. And the man is married to a man. And then claimed that Jesus didn't say anything about that. Now, I, I didn't know that he had that much regard for what Jesus had to say. Because Jesus speaks against overeating and subverting. If, if, if we're just going to stick to Jesus now. From Genesis to Revelation, the Bible condemns homosexuality. And when Jesus did, when Jesus did mention it, he mentioned it, Sodom and Gomorrah, they were always mentioned as a pejorative, as a cautionary tale. You need to learn. And he said, because God did not uh, withhold vengeance, on Sodom and Gomorrah. He said it's going to be more tolerable in the day of judgment for Sodom and Gomorrah than for some of these areas where the Lord have given miracles uh, and, and blessings. Like Capernaum was the Lord's headquarters. There were miracles in Capernaum and Bethsaida and areas like that. They saw miracles that no one else saw, and yet they would not repent. And the Lord says it's going to be more tolerable in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Then the Lord mentions Lot's wife, and he warns, don't do like she's done, that, like she did. She looked back. Paul describes it as being unseemly. If we had a frank talk about what go on in that lifestyle, they would take us off YouTube, and, and service wouldn't be rated G, because it would, you can't, you can't, in a polite society, even talk about that. And here we are, here we are in a day where this has happened. Now, I don't know, maybe I was out of, you know, my wife and I, we took a few days off and we celebrated our 39th wedding anniversary. So we weren't in town. We didn't leave the country, but we weren't in town. Now, we, we can go, just for the record, anywhere we want to at any time. I'm just glad that wherever we go, if we're together, it's special. Amen. Amen. I know of couples who have traveled to almost every continent in the world. Wherever they go, they fight. Wherever they go, they argue. I'm glad to have a love that if I decide not to go far, it's still wonderful. So we were gone. And so I asked some of the guys, have there been any outcry? Have preachers posted? We got all these brave preachers. 
Have anybody said anything about a man? And, 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 and Pete Buttigieg is no friend of Christianity. And if you talk to black folk in, uh, in, in Indiana, if you, go, you go, to, go talk to black people up there. There's a reason they can't stand it. He's no friend to blacks. He's no friend to Christians. The question is, what is he doing at a black Christian church taking communion? And uh, the polls show that he has between zero at the least and maybe at the most 4% support amongst the black community. Thank God for that. And I pray uh, that it doesn't grow. Oftentimes I do this. I am a registered non-affiliate, so I don't want you to think I'm for any party. I'm for the Lord and for what is right. But it is a disgrace that we live in a country where if a person of color don a Make America Great hat, people now on MSNBC and other news agencies, they call that hat a trigger. So you can't wear that because that would trigger somebody to want to fight you. That's a trigger. But you can invite a man married to a man to a Christian church, and there is no outcry. Something is wrong with that. And the only way to get you to buy into that, they've got to try and get you to ignore the scriptures and to take Jesus Christ out of the public eye. Hence the celebrations for Christmas, hence the opportunity to talk about these things as often as we can, because the devil is trying to get in your head and make you think like a secular person, make you think like a non-religious person, make you think non-scriptural. Well, you know, well, the, the, you know the Bible, the Bible can't be applied everywhere. The Lord says, in all thy ways, not in half, but in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. So all covers politics too. All. All. Say amen. All. So uh, I, 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 we, need, we need to pray for uh, our nation because churches are becoming everything now except churches amen uh, and uh, the, the, when you come when you come to church you ought to want to have church and to celebrate the lord and to give jesus praise amen would you give the lord praises today so so we come we come we come to celebrate the birth of the lord Amen. Bishop, you sound like you're against the LGBT community. I'm not against anybody. Number one, um, it's amazing that people now can be defined based on who they have sex with. In, t in times past, you were defined by your color, your gender, your nationality. Now you're in a new group just based on who you have sex with. So I wonder if you're still a part of that group if you change and begin to have sex with somebody else. The Bible has not changed. And you, know, and you know who was saying this stuff 20 years ago when the rest of Raleigh was calling me crazy? Prophet Wooden. Give me a big hand. Prophet Wooden. And I want to know where are all of those preachers who said that I was crazy. I wasn't crazy. I, I, I'm a seer. Amen. Now, I don't, I don't prophesy about uh, um, some of the things that many prophets spend their time talking about. What the Lord showed me is a trend. The trend is an ever-increasing push towards secularism. They, take, they want to strip our minds of Scripture. The preacher wants to sound now, many preachers want to sound now, more like a, a secular a psychologist or a psychiatrist than a preacher. But our, our discipline is not secularism. Our discipline is the scripture. We approach global warming from a scriptural standpoint. We, we approach everything 
from the standpoint of the scripture. What does God say about it? Well, you know, these signs, I can tell you about their signs. How long, how long are they going to live? 20 years, uh, uh, 70 years, 80 years? How long have they been studying these things that they so uh, uh, boldly proclaim? I trust God. Everybody who trusts the God of the Bible, give him praises. Amen.